Hey guys, today is Saturday, Saturday, September 11th. Uh, we're on our way to Mick Farms um, in St. Cloud to... Hello. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to pop up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're on our way. Where are we going? I just said Mick Farms. Oh. We're on our way to Mick Farms in St. Cloud to go find this lady. Her name is Shelly. And she has a little a little business called Shelly's Jellies. And I don't like jelly. Mick I hate Farms. jelly. I don't Mick like jelly. Farms. But yeah, she makes like homemade jelly. And girl. Johnny loves yes. Okay. Johnny loves what was I saying? Oh yeah, Johnny loves her jelly the jellies that she makes. I hate jelly, so I'm not, I don't really eat it, but that's where we're going. So, so anyway, we're on our way to return the four jars of uh, empty jelly, because you get a little discount when you return your old jars to swap and buy um, new jar of jelly. Oh, we're about to whip it. Can we whip it? Can we whip it? We whip it. <laughs> Let me see. What have I not updated? Oh, got an update for my parents' house. Um, last week. We, we didn't vlog uh, but the end of last week Friday the appraiser went out to the house that my parents are buying to start the appraisal you know do the appraisal and we got the report back on on Tuesday Tuesday we got the report back and it was like significantly brand new home low. Sam significantly low um about thirty seven thousand dollars lower than what my parents offer so we weren't sure if they were going to accept that or if they were going to want additional you know money to bring it up to at least their asking price but so thankfully it worked out they did accept the new lower price even though it was five thousand less than their asking price continue on deer run road for two miles in turn up if i know where i'm going um, which is great for my parents. Great news. Um, and, you know, so they can keep moving forward with the closing process. And, um, hopefully they should close on or before September 22nd, which is awesome. They're super excited, um, you know, to, to be able to kind of have a, a weight lifted off their shoulders and, and they can like look forward to the house, you know, getting the house now. Florida woman fights off large alligator while paddle boarding. Ooh, I saw that at, um, oh, was it Bl Blue Sprint? Which, which one was it? I, I think it was, I swear it was Blue Spring. Blue Springs or something. Silver Springs. I know it was a color. <laughs> As long as you hit the Bye alligator me. with your paddle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back away, don't even mess with it. I mean, she was on a paddle board. Like, that thing was, he could have flipped her. He was trying to flip it. No. Yeah. No, she said that, they said that she aggravated, like, aggravated the alligator when she hit her with her paddle. Wait, why is, it, why is it so empty? Wow, it's so empty. I've never seen it this empty. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. What time is this? 11.43. Oh, there she is right there. Shelly's Jellies. I'm about to well, say. They, they ain't got no strawberries or pumpkins to be picking, so. <gasps> she shaved her head? No, she's always had short hair. No, but I mean, it wasn't always like. 
pretty sure because her, her thing is like that's what she looks like on her <gasps> oh we can get onions from here yeah maybe Ugh. oh wait hold on gotta mask up man Those love bugs potatoes. are everywhere. Yeah, let's get potatoes for the baked potatoes and onions. Oh, they have eggs. I don't know. All right. Shopping trip done all in one spot too, because we got potatoes to make baked potatoes. Am I gonna hit, like, can I even get out? Oh, that person parked all weird. Now you see how everybody else parks? But you want to park like the jackass. You should have space bits in. Yeah, no, I know. It's just like like up kind of at a hill here, so. Oh, something. Anyway, all right. So we got baked potatoes. We got onions because Johnny's gonna make French onion soup, chicken today. French um, onion chicken. What I say? French onion soup chicken. Well, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, but. Oh, do you need anything else to make that? Like beef? No, broth? I got that stuff there. I got the. Mm. You got mm. everything you need? Should you? Mm -hmm. Um. We also got 30 eggs. Well, we got chicken? Huh? We have chicken at home? I don't know. I guess, yeah, I'm sure we do. But look how far back they stayed. Yeah. Idiot. Um, what else did we get? Chocolate milk from a local farm. Well, it's not super local, but it's Florida. They'll tell me it's like an hour from here. Um, and we got ice cream to try from the same Sutton, Sutton Farms. We got an Oreo cheesecake ice cream and a velvet swiss which she said is like a red velvet ice cream with red velvet ice cream with like swiss rolls? swiss rolls in it which i thought you would like that the other one that we originally were originally going to get was called berry into you and i thought that it was like mixed berry type of ice cream or something but she said it was um Essentially, strawberry, like strawberry cake pieces. with cake pieces in it, which I'm not. A, I'm not really a fan of strawberry ice cream. I, I don't like strawberry ice cream. It's just not my thing. So we switched it for the velvet Swiss. I'm trying to hurry up and get home so we can pop those in the freezer. Fresh squeezed Florida butt nuggets. <laughs> what? The sign. <laughs> The sign said fresh squeezed Florida butt nuggets. Eggs. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking fresh squeezed. I'm thinking like a, like a juice. But I'm well, like... they are freshly squeezed. I don't know if this car is going straight. So let me just wait a second. Yeah, who says freshly squeezed butt nuggets? Like... Actually, a lot of these farmers, they put that sign out. It's funny. It's funny. Never saw that. What, the other one, there's another farm um, on like across the street from Hickory Tree Elementary that has the same sign. It says freshly squeezed <laughs> butt nuggets. That one said freshly squeezed Florida butt nuggets. It's very specific. The other one just said freshly squeezed butt nuggets. 
actually the sign says honk two times for freshly squeezed butt nuggets because they have like a they have a gate thing so you have to go honk if you want some butt nuggets some of your butt nuggets <laughs> some of these houses are that one right there is beautiful with that that front gate Sugar, cocoa powder, and then cornstarch, and carrageenan. That makes it super thick. Chocolate milk from Sutton Milk. I mean Sutton Farms in Okeechobee, Florida. 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 Put my freshly squeezed butt nuggets in. Smells, oh, I can't even pour. I can't even pour the milk. Your wrist is malfunctioning. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's thick. Wow. That looks like you could put that in an ice cream machine and turn that into stuff. ice cream. This is the good stuff right, right here. It's thick. Um, maybe this will be like the stuff I used to drink in culinary school that they used to always have from the local farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good? Mm -hmm. It's thick. It needs to be cold though. Very chocolatey. I like it. Hmm. How little these nuggets are compared to these nuggets. We don't ice cube them. Okay. We got some more Shelly's jellies. Of course, I got mixed berry jam. You gotta stay with, stick with the classic. I like that. I love it. Five My favorite. Four. And then we decided to try this berry wine jelly. You know what? A red blend wine, raspberry, and lemon juice. And a peck in sugar, of course. Shelly's jellies. Shelly's jellies, see? <laughs> All the new eggs in here, and then I'll put these. If you're ever in the St. Cloud area, you want to go check her out. She's got all different types of flavors. You're good. Nos vamos. Nos fuimos. We're on our way to get tacos. Tacos for lunch. <laughs> our favorite tacos at the moment are from... Hot taco. Hot taco mm -hmm. and Lake Nona. Mm -hmm. They're our favorite. They're the best. We love it. Give me all the tacos. All right, are we about to go now? Now. Let's go. And now we gotta hit it. Come on. to the gym for an hour and then come home take a shower and start my job at 8 a.m 
no problem. I will get my workout done. I don't know that Johnny will get out of bed if it is not for me. Kind of pushing a little bit to get out of bed. He acts like I don't know him. Like I don't know the back of my hand. Sammy's. Look at Florida. Look, look at this. Nice, bright, not so nice, not so bright. It's about to pour. But if any of you guys have a Sam's Club membership, okay, here's the tip. Because our Sam's Club right now was packed. You gotta get the app. You scan all your shit while you're walking through. Huh? Is it on the app? Yeah, on the app. You scan on the app all your products. You get your credit card saved in. You put that. You get your credit card saved in the app. You pay on the app. It gives you a little barcode. You walk right past all the registers. Hold on, let me put y'all up here. You walk past all the registers. Like everybody was looking miserable, waiting in line. And we're just like, hey. Right to the lady. She scanned her little things. We walked out. Oh, sir. Oh, baby. <laughs> she must have like a little hamster <laughs> she got her grass she's so cute oh my god her long curly hair you gonna run in and get it well we're gonna run in and get it I got the bras in. I think these are two different styles. I got two different styles, but look at Lincoln. He's playing. We got a, that new toy. He's like jumping all over the place with the thing. All right, so here's the first one. And then here's the back. It's got like a crisscross situation. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Ugh, my double chin. Okay, it's got like a crisscross situation in the back. And then a double crisscross here. And it's got like a zipper. This unlocks, locks, I think. And then um, it's got 
these little clippy things here to clamp it. Um, I, I did try, cause I got one the other day. Um, and I do wish that they had like a clamp. Let me see if you guys can see. Okay, so there's a clamp up here in the middle. Down here, I wish there was one right around here that held it down in the bottom so that you have enough time to, you know, push your zipper together and, and clamp all of them before you zip it up. It is what it is though, it's fine. So, I got this color. It's like a, it's, it's blue, it looks a little gray. This is another one that I got, let me put it together. A pinkish, like a dusty rose pink color. And this one is a different, um, this is a different design. In the back, it's not like drastic, but here. This one is only just a, um, a like a crisscross. It's not like the double, double crisscross. <gasps> so you see it's just, the other one like had the straps and then another crisscross here. Oh, okay, so it, yeah, it is, okay, it is slightly different besides just that, like the location of how far the straps come down. I got a black one, both of those designs, the double crisscross being one and then just the crisscross. I got black in each one of those. So this one is, this is the black in just the regular crisscross. I do have a black coming in the double crisscross and I have a white one coming as well that I think is double crisscross. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I should have. Maybe the other two will come tomorrow, I think. <laughs> now it's time for Jani in the cocina. We are having baked potatoes. Johnny is making his famous French onion, French onion chicken, right? French onion soup chicken, French onion chicken, French onion chicken. Got a little home, our home chef pans. Oh, we got more chicken, okay. So we're gonna have these baked potatoes. He's making the chicken there. Scoot around. Got his onions caramelizing in here. And he will kind of make this into a, um, kind of like a French onion soup. He's got like his beef stuff over there, make like a broth with the caramelized onions. He'll put that in the pan with the chicken, pop it in the oven, and, and top it with uh, mozzarella cheese. So, so, so good. We well, usually- Well, I did it, but why didn't you want to do it? I gotta pee. <laughs> what do you say? Do you have any wine, open wine anywhere? Um, yeah, in the garage fridge. You wanna go get it? Oh, I have no shoes. Can you do it? Oh, damn it. Hmm. Let me put these, his big chancletas on. I'm gonna have to open the garage door because with the Mazda in there, our SUV is in the garage and I just don't fit through to get to the other side. And chef. He's deglazing his pan. Yes? Mm-hmm. Caramelization. So. Caramelization, that's like burnt-sation. That's caramelized. Mm. 
Let me see. Let's see. Oh, man, let's see. Mm, yum. Finish this wine so we get rid of it from our drink fridge. These are the best wine caps, by the way. Because they lay flat. Mm-hmm. Other wine stoppers, they're like up so you can't store it. The best. Anyway, once we're a little further along, actually probably when the meal is done, we'll show you what everything looks like. Chickens underneath onions and cheese. I'm recording. Mm, mm, mm. What's up, guys? It is Sunday, September 12th, and I just got out the shower. I am going to chop my hair off. Not really chop. Chop would be like what I did a couple years ago. I literally chopped it up to here. Um, my hair is very long. And I need to cut like five or six inches off. Like I'm probably gonna be cutting, um, probably like all of this off actually. A good chunk of this. DN Organics Ultra Defined Curls Leave-In with Heat Protectant, step number one. Two, I'm using the AG Hair Recoil. Three, the DN Organics Ultra Defined Styling Gel. Then, um, fourth, diffuse with my Dyson. Love this thing, by the way. and then I'll come back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm going to 
do like praying hands with the gel over top to not like disrupt everything. I'm gonna diffuse, flip my head over, diffuse up, low heat, low air, and then I'll come back and show you guys. All right, I'm back. I changed my shirt because it was the other one was too wet, but oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. It's still, if I stretch it, it's still underneath my bra strap. So it's still long. But it looks nice. I like fluffed it up a little bit, but um, it's, I was getting bored and I didn't want to stay here for like another 30 minutes Ooh. diffusing. So as it dries even more, it'll get better. I still feel like there could have been a little bit more layers up here. But overall though, I'm really happy with it. So it looks good to me. This is the final result. I did use um, some, some argan oil in it. Um, just to help prevent it getting too, too wild and crazy from this humidity. And you know, it just helps break the cast, fluff it. Some of these curls, I can break them up. I don't feel like these are as dry as they could be, but as it dries, it'll get better. I feel like, I feel like these could have been a little shorter, but it's okay. It looks good. Oh, it feels so much better, honestly. Definitely next time, I'm gonna do it again and add just some more layers in here. But I mean, now that it's dry, I mean, they are kind of like, you know, there's definitely some layers of movement. That's good. What do you think? Okay. I think it looks so good. All right. So that pretty much concludes my hair cutting and styling video. Um, there are other products that I use, but honestly for, it's a Sunday. Like I'm not going nowhere. I work from home, nobody's seeing my hair. You know, I just obviously have to wash my hair. I can't go like a million years without ever washing it. So, um, I normally honestly just put leave-in conditioner and a little bit of gel just so it doesn't look crazy uh, but I normally don't like diffuse it or anything I just just let it air dry during the week especially um, you know just because again I'm not going I'm not going anywhere so there's really no no need I think it came out really cute so Hope you enjoyed uh, watching me cut my hair and style it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I will tag uh, all the products that I used. Um, I think that's pretty much gonna be the weekend. Like, I'm just probably gonna watch some football and that's it, just chill. Um, tomorrow I do have to go for some blood work in the morning so I'm gonna be starting work like a little bit late um, and Tuesday I have a doctor's appointment nothing nothing major but um, tomorrow it's for I guess a test to see my progesterone level um, you know like at a certain point on day 21 well today's day 21 but they're not open on a Sunday so the doctor said to go like if day 21 fell on a Sunday to go the following day on a Monday so I'm gonna go tomorrow to get my progesterone level checked so that we can kind of gauge and see, make sure that I'm ovulating. Um, and that that way I'll have those results before, hopefully before I go to um, 
to see the fertility specialist on the 24th. So send some prayers my way that everything is working like it should. We get some good news and yeah, um, this upcoming week, I don't know. I think, um, I don't, I don't really know if there's anything much going on this coming week. Next week, my parents are supposed to close on their house and then we're going to be doing stuff with that. Oh, we did go, I didn't, I didn't vlog, but we got a washer and dryer for their new house and a new bed frame that my mom picked for their master bedroom. Then they'll use their old um, set for a guest room. I didn't vlog it, but whenever they get to the house, close, I'll show you what I got them because homegirl swiped their card. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and we'll see you next time.